Yay! My favorite TV show is about to start. Let's go! Wait! The news isn't my favorite TV show. Hello everyone. We would like to bring you some breaking news here on GNN. You have got to be kidding me. Here today, I am joined with Govilla's famous scientist, Dr. Gary Smith, who will be giving us some information about his latest invention. So tell us, Dr. Smith, what is this groundbreaking invention you've created? Over the past few years, I have been working on the world's first fully functional time machine, and I am proud to say that it will be displayed outside of Goville's National Museum from today until the end of this weekend. Go and have a look at it. You heard him. Go ahead and visit Goville's National Museum today. Oh, don't worry. I definitely will be visiting it. Thinking about it, this could actually be good. I could use the time machine to time travel to the past and mill ground myself. That way, I would never be punished, and I'd still have some freedom right now. Dora, you're genius. Wow, this is so awesome. I didn't expect it to look this detailed. Hopefully it works as nicely as it looks. Let me have a look at it from the other side. Oh no. There's security guarding this thing. How did I not think of that? But hey! At least he's asleep. Looks like someone's losing their job very soon. As long as I don't wake him up, I can use the time machine. I'll just go to the other side to make sure that I'm safe from being caught by this guy. Wow! It's got automatic doors. This is so cool. Let's see what you're capable of doing. Oh my god! This feels so surreal. Anyways, let me not get carried away. It's time to go to the past. Here we go. It's time to downgrade every computer to Windows XP. Wait, Dora, I'm warning you. Don't do it. Who the heck are you? And why do you look exactly like me? It's me, you from the future. Do not downgrade every computer to Windows XP or you'll be arrested. Oh please? If there's one person I shouldn't trust, it's myself. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. See you in jail, I guess. It looks like future me was right. I should have never downgraded every computer to Windows XP. Oh my god. Thank god you're here. I promise that I'll listen to you next time. Will you please let me out of prison? Don't worry. They will let you out today. They only put you in here to scare you. Anyways, I'm going a bit further into the future to see if you listen to me this time. See you soon. Bye. Bingo. I'm going to use my mob's credit card to buy some Robux. Dora, put that back in mom's purse. She said that she's not gonna buy you Robux. But she's actually going to the store to get you and Diego a gift card each. Oh my god. For real. Is she actually gonna do that? Yes. You just have to trust me. See you in the future. Hey Dora. I'm back from the store. Oh my god. Is that a Robux gift card you're holding? Yes. I hope it's what you wanted. You're the best. Hi again, feature me. What is it that I shouldn't do this time? Two new students will be joining your class today. One of them is named Nana. She's a huge nerd who looks like she's time traveled from 1996 or something. She's also got a twin brother named Nant. He is so cute. I want you to have a shot with him. You must be nice to Nina. That way, you will get her brother to like you. Try flirting with him during lunchtime. I will. Thanks again. Hey guys, is it okay if I have a seat next to you? Of course. I really want to ask you something, but it's okay if you say no. You've been really nice to my sister, and you seem like a really nice person. Would you like to hang out after school sometime? I really like you. Oh my god. Yes. I'd love to go on a date with you. 
I wonder what will happen if I keep on repeatedly pushing this button. That should lead me to the first time I got grounded, right? Well, there's only one way to find out. Whoa, what is this place? Oh wow, this is kinda cool. I think I'm in the prehistoric ages. Hello, is anybody here? Ooga Booga Dora Grounded. Ooga Booga Million Years. Oh hell no, I'm out of here. What the heck? Is this supposed to be of the future? This looks kinda sad to be honest. Forget this. I'm out of here too. What's the matter, Charles? Behind you. Um, hi. I may or may not have ended up in the wrong era again. This is already my third failed attempt. That must be a time traveler, an intruder. Let's get her. Yikes. I better run. Where is she? Up there. Catch me if you can. Ouch. I'm okay. Oh my god, you're our savior. Am I? Yeah. Who knows who the lightning could have struck. It could have caused a disaster, but you saved us all. What's your name, young lady? Dora. Dora Marquez. Okay, fun's over. It's time to go to the present now. Oh look, the wind is blowing the newspaper into the time machine. I'm gonna keep it as a record. Anyways, here we go. Okay everyone, it's time for some history. Can anybody tell me who the hero of Goville's 1950 Great Storm is? Dora maybe? Would you like to answer my question? I don't know. Probably Albert Einstein or something. Of course not you silly girl. Look at your history textbook. It's you. I've got the best girlfriend in the world. She's a hero, and she's also funny. Everybody please remain calm. There's a dinosaur and an alien on the loose. Please remain in your classrooms and don't come out unless otherwise stated. Oh no. This is all my fault. I need to make things right. Dora, where are you going? Well, I guess this is it. Going through security and grounding myself, having Matt as my boyfriend, avoiding suspensions. Saving Goville in 1950. That was all for nothing. I'm gonna end up going back to square one. But at least, I'm going to save Goville again for the second time today. Here we go. Yay! My favorite TV show is about to start. Let's go. Wait Dora, don't do it. Don't turn on the TV, or it's you again. You scarred the living hell out of me. What is it this time? This is serious. Whatever you do, do not turn on the TV. Most specifically, do not watch the news. And if you do, don't you dare use the time machine. It will cause a whole lot of problems. Oh wow, thanks for telling me. I'm guessing that's how you're here then. Yeah. Believe me, you do not want to time travel to the prehistoric ages or the distant future. Anyways, I'm going back to the present. None of this time travel stuff would have happened then. I will be the only one who will remember all of this. Well, I guess it's time to part ways forever. So long Dora. Finally, I'm back to the unaltered present. No Dora going in the time machine. No saving the world. No nothing, but hey, 
At least I have the newspaper as proof that I was a hero, and that I actually did something useful for once in my life. Wait, where's the newspaper? I left it right here. Dora, come downstairs right now. I found this newspaper in your room saying that you saved Godville in 1950. Care to explain? Did you have something to do with that time machine they showed on the news yesterday? Yeah, that's when I saved the city from a disastrous thunderstorm. Not only that, but I saved the city once again from aliens and dinosaurs. Oops. I think I said too much. I ended up revealing myself. Dora, how dare you tell me travel to the past? You are so grounded. You're grounded for a million years. Now go in your room and don't come out. Maybe I should time travel a million years into the future. Hey, I'm just kidding. I've learned my lesson. I'm going up to my room right now.